today on Running to Him. The Sabbath was created for our rest. Today's reading from the reading plan is Genesis 2, verses 1 through 9, and we'll concentrate on verses 2 and 3. Genesis 2, 2 through 3 says, By the seventh day God completed his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. And then God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because in it he rested from his work which God had created and made. Today I'd like to look at the day God created a rest period. God didn't need to rest after an exhausting six days physically. He wanted to establish a pattern for man. The Jewish Publication Society writes in its commentary on Genesis, Through his weekly suspension of normal activity, man imitates the divine pattern and reactualizes the original sacred time of God, therefore recovering the sacred dimension of existence. Paradoxically, he also rediscovers his own very human dimension. His earthliness for the Sabbath delimits man's autonomy, suspends for a while his creative freedom, and declares that on one day each week, nature is inviolable. Nahum Sarna, Genesis, the JPS Torah Commentary, Philadelphia Jewish Publication Society, 1989, page 15. The Hebrew word translated sanctified means to set aside, to be pure and to clean, and the word translated rested means to be placed at a standstill. So the day was made holy, and activity was stopped. When God told Moses about the Sabbath in Exodus 23.10, God made it plain that there should be no work done by man or beast. Even a person who was not an Israelite was to stop any activity. In Genesis 23.12, he expands the concept further when he says, Six days you are to work, but on the seventh day you shall cease from labor, so that your ox and your donkey may rest, and that the son of your female slave as well as your stranger may refresh themselves. The purpose of a Sabbath was one of restoration, not only for humans, but all creation as well. And this concept has been proven in modern times through studies that show that people who are always working, not taking any time to rest and rejuvenate, become less productive as time goes on. We as humans need time to unwind and refresh our minds. But this Sabbath taking has become rarer and rarer as our time passes on. We trick ourselves into believing that there is no difference between days. We do not need time to reflect and recuperate. Instead, we feed on the 24-hour news cycle, on sports and entertainment. Even our worship is more of the same, which we inhale during the week. We fail to differentiate anything in our lives, and we become automatons, moving from one activity to another, never stopping to contemplate what we are doing and how it affects our lives. Let's take time to pause. Let's make our day of rest different from the other days of the week. Now, I'm not suggesting that we become like the Pharisees and dictate rules for rest. That in itself is not rest. But let's just take time to breathe. Let's make Sunday dinner on Saturday. Maybe use paper plates and plastic utensils to just throw away rather than washing them. Let's make other things different on Sunday so that we rest and recover. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.